Thank you for watching Arupedia World videos. In this session, we will learn about the ODBC. ODBC is Open Database Connectivity, a standard software API specification for using DBMS. It is a component of Windows Open Service architecture, which is independent of any programming language, database system, and operating system. It was earlier developed in early 1990s by an industry committee and has been implemented by Microsoft and many other vendors. ODBC standard provides a DBMS independent means for processing relational database data. The main aim of ODBC is to help a developer to create a single application that accesses databases supported by different DBMS products without the need of changing or recompiling anything. So why do we need ODBC? You can access any data from any application regardless of which DBMS is handling the data insert a middle layer between the application and a database management system. A database driver which has a layer which translate the application's data queries into commands that DBMS understand. Here where the ODBC comes into picture. It allows the application programs to use SQL to access data from any kind of sources. Let us briefly understand about the architecture of ODBC. ODBC consists of a data source an application program, a driver manager, a DBMS driver. A DBMS driver processes the ODBC requests and submits the specific SQL query languages or the structured query languages statement to a given type of data source. A single tier driver processes both ODBC calls and SQL statements where when we talk about multiple tier driver which processes the ODBC calls but passes the SQL request to the database server. Here is a simple architecture of ODBC. Components of which four are listed here. ODBC application, ODBC driver, the driver manager and the data source. Let us start with the application. The ODBC application or the front end client as we say in day to day life defines and performs the work to be accomplished and requests and terminates a session with a data source. It can call API functions that submits the SQL statements. It can also be used to define the storage areas and the data formats for the results. It helps in processing the errors and retrieving the results. Any program that accesses a DBMS such as spreadsheet, a mail server or a report generator can be designed to use the ODBC. When we talk about the ODBC driver, it is the back end server as we know. It consists of a dynamic link library. The main work is to process the ODBC function calls. It is used in establishing a connection to a data source. It is helpful in submitting the SQL request to a data source. It passes the result to the application. It transforms the application SQL syntax into the syntax expected by the driver's associated DBMS. And the driver requires a driver manager. It again consists of a dynamic link library. The link between the ODBC application and the ODBC driver loads the driver on behalf of an application and finally maps a data source named to a specific driver DLL. The data source is the data that has to be accessed also which includes the associated operating system, the DBMS, network platform and other required protocol. How the ODBC works? ODBC inserts a middle layer called a client driver. The purpose of the client driver is to translate the application's queries 
into the commands that the DBMS would understand. In the next session, we will understand about JDBC. Thank you.